if I had the a decision on what to do with this, I would have liked to have seen a warning. In my head. Hey everybody. So tonight we're going to talk about To the Bone, the Netflix series. Um, there was a trailer that was released and the trailer was very concerning for a number of different reasons and that's what I'd like to talk about. To the Bone is a story about a woman with an eating disorder. Um, I'm not even going to lie. I'm not very familiar with what the story is or I, I know that the um, the writer and I believe producer have experienced an eating disorder themselves and yet the trailer is controversial it's sparking a little bit, a bit of outrage from people and I believe that's warranted so let's explore why I think that's true tonight. All right, so for those who are new to my channel, I do mental health videos Monday through Friday. This video is coming out on a Saturday, however, um, because I skipped a few days here and there. And so we're going to talk about In the Bone on Netflix. The trailer came out, and when I first saw the trailer, my first gut reaction to it, you know, living in this mental health world that I live in, was this is not good. This is going to trigger people. And I felt that way because of a number of reasons. There was counting going on in the video. They were showing the body of the main character who I believe is suffering from anorexia. Um, and you could see from the trailer um, her form. There was a lot of like lighthearted joking about it. And I, I am somebody who struggles with this because I would like us to be able to joke about mental illness. But because mental illness in particular is so stigmatized, it's really hard to joke about mental illness. And so the overall tone of this trailer felt a little bit too lighthearted for me. And it didn't seem to take the seriousness of the disorder into account enough. I didn't see this woman's pain very much and that's not to say that everybody who has an eating disorder is displaying pain all the time but if you're going to tackle this very serious issue of eating disorders I would expect there to be at least a, a hint of it in the trailer of the struggle this person's going through because that's what an eating disorder is about it's not all um, funniness and I don't know, the woman had like a, a mood, I don't even know her name, I apologize again, I just like watched the trailer a couple of times, but her mood just seemed to be very sour, and I thought, well, that's a very one-dimensional view of what an eating disorder looks like, and... You know, if you take my thoughts on this aside, there is the National Eating Disorder Association. There's lightning going on around me like crazy. Uh, and they have guidelines for how to talk about eating disorders and how to talk about these things. And these guidelines were not followed in this trailer. So I had issues with it. Um, I don't believe that they portrayed it the way that they should. And so I, if I had the, a decision on what to do with this, I would have liked to have seen a warning before the trailer. So I was discussing this with a friend. Um, you know, obviously there was 13 Reasons Why, and that show by Netflix got a lot of flack, and I'm sure this To the Bone will also get a lot of criticism for the way that they handle this, because as I mentioned, mental disorders are stigmatized, especially in the entertainment industry. They're used as plot devices. They are showing people one-dimensionally. And so this bothered me, and I was discussing it with a friend. And I was saying how I thought that for this trailer, they should have had some sort of a warning before um, watching it to let people know that this was a sensitive topic. Because the way that I came across it was it came up in my Facebook newsfeed, and I don't even think I saw the words to the bone or anything, so I didn't really have any clue what it was about necessarily. I just saw the video and um, watched it for whatever reason, and I was like, okay, what the hell is this? So I thought there should be a warning, and a friend of mine that I was talking this over with said, well, what happened to personal responsibility? Isn't it people's responsibility to decide whether or not they can watch this? And my answer was, yeah, they can make a decision whether or not to watch it if they have a warning, knowing whether or not it's something to that could trigger them. And this person's response was that, well, nothing in there was really triggering, and that frustrated me because I'm like, there's so much in this trailer that could be triggering to somebody. And for the person I was talking with, I think they would say, well, the world is triggering and people are too sensitive and kind of like, 
I don't want to say too bad, but too bad <laughs> was kind of the gist of it. Like too bad. Like that's that's the world and you have to learn to adapt to the world. And that is true. Um, I agree with that. We do need to learn when we have a mental disorder to um, be motivated to solve our problems with our mental disorder and to gain resilience skills so that we can handle these situations without being triggered. However, there's a big however to this. People with mental disorders, they have issues around responsibility. Um, part of many disorders is irresponsibility. It's a maladaptive personality trait. And so it's kind of like, to me, telling somebody to be responsible, responsible about how they react to something like this is kind of like saying to somebody with a wound in their leg, well, just walk or, or be careful how you're walking. It's not, it doesn't matter how careful you are. Your, your leg is impaired. You, you're not going to be able to handle the stress of that. And unfortunately, I know that people who see this, who have eating disorders, who are at a level of dysfunction that is high, are going to see this and it's going to encourage them deeper into their disorder or it's going to encourage them to do some kind of self-harm. And I I just find it hard to believe that Netflix is okay. Actually, I don't find it that hard to believe because this is the entertainment industry, but they are okay with portraying a mental illness and using it to capitalize off of and for entertainment purposes while not also treating it seriously and acknowledging the millions of people who live with that mental disorder. I find that incredibly frustrating. I can understand the outrage about To the Bone. I think that even the name is a little bit much, but I, you know, I get it. I get it's a story. I get entertainment, but unless you've lived with a mental disorder, specifically an eating disorder, or you've known somebody who's had one, or multiple people, I should say, because everybody's experience is a little different, then you may not fully understand the impact that this has on people's lives. So I need to get going. I would like to know, what are your thoughts on this trailer? Do you think it should have a warning? Do you think people should be able to handle this? Like, this is the world that we live in and you just need to learn to deal with it. I don't like that attitude personally. I think that's very um, non-empathetic. Uh, but I'd like to know what you think, so let me know. If you are new here, please subscribe and hit the bell after you hit subscribe to get notified every time I do a video. I have a Patreon page if you want to support me. And finally, for my people who are subscribers, I just want to mention to you, I am frustrated because YouTube's algorithm has changed and it specifically started changing right when I started doing this channel. Uh, and they are favoring disposable like McDonald's kind of content, uh, like low... They're favoring content that you watch for a day and then they don't promote it ever again. It used to be that on YouTube you could upload something and it could become a resource and people would find it throughout the years through searching and whatnot. But most of my videos now, when I post them, they're gone. After 48 hours, really 24 for me, nobody's seeing those again. Nobody cares and YouTube does not promote them. YouTube does not keep them at the top um, of search results, even if they were there to begin with. Uh, so I have to change my strategy here on this channel a little bit if I want to grow and I do want to grow and I've always made that clear. So what I'm going to attempt to do is I don't want to give up on quality content. I want to keep delivering to you good information in a quality form. Um, part of me doing this vlogging was to just get stuff out there daily because YouTube now wants to see you uploading at least three times a week, I think is the standard that has been buzzing around. So I'm going to continue to upload often, but I don't want to lose the quality. So my plan is to have videos that I spend a lot more time on and I'm a lot more careful about and get those out there um, well, as often as I can. I'm one person doing this and I'm limited in my resources, but I also need to think about growth. And so I'm going to hit those videos that I think are going to be good resources and try to hit them on keywords that I may be able to rank for because I have noticed when I'm able to rank for something like schizotypal personality disorder. Hello, all my schizotypal fans. Um, you found me because I ranked for that and I stayed up in the rankings. Um, 
I'm going to try to make good quality videos for specific keywords, but I'm also going to, you're going to see me do more videos like this about Netflix's To The Bone because it's a current event, it's trendy, and people will be searching for it. And if my content is going to be treated like it's disposable throwaway nonsense by YouTube, I might as well try to reach the most amount of people as I can with this throwaway content um, to get them to the channel. And then once they're here and subscribed, this is why it's important that you subscribe, I can put out the other stuff, the more quality stuff, the more stuff that helps people to learn. Um, this is, I want this to be an educational channel. My goal is two-pronged. It's to get people here, and that's going to be some of these more current event type videos, and then you're going to see the videos that are more thoughtful and quality oriented, and that's what you can expect here on this channel. So I hope you understand that, and I hope that's something that you are okay with and you're looking forward to. Let me know how you feel about that. But really, for this video, I would like people to comment on how they feel about this to the bone trailer. If you do have an eating disorder, I do not recommend that you watch it. Because uh, again, I, it is very triggering in my opinion. And so let me know. Let me know what you think. And I'll see you around, everyone. Take care.